Hey guys, and welcome to another fig bath video. We got a bundle of stuff recently that could really do with a clean, so we are gonna just dive right into that before I end up with the big box of stuff that I'm putting off fig bathing for ages. Like the last fig bath we did, today we have some pomegranate sauce in the uh, in the old sink and uh, let's take a look at what we've got to put in it. So we have a few kind of random bits from uh, a different recent bundle. We've got like a cane all beat up and stuff. Uh, we're just gonna, just gonna put him straight in soak. We've got a John Cena. Yeah, he's kind of got like some stuff around his neck and whatnot. We'll, we'll get that off. That's a simple jump. We've got this Undertaker with uh, whatever the heck he's got dangling off his head, etc. Yeah, not super great, but that one will be fun to watch. And then we have this this bundle of figures. We've got the Brian Kendrick. Now I think this is probably in the best of condition, but one thing I quickly realized after I finished doing the mill opening was that not only were these a bit dirty, but there's a, a little bit of smoke smell in there as well. So yeah, we're definitely gonna give him uh, a once over. In fact, yeah, I don't think he has a whole bunch of interesting dirt or anything to get off him. So actually I'm just gonna put him into soak too. Uh, we have, ooh, this Kyrie Sane, absolutely filthy. We, you, you can see the discoloration from the dirt and everything. She's also got dust and cobwebs like all over her. Yeah, that'll be a fun one. Uh, we got this, ooh, this Shawn Michaels, absolutely pitted, look at that. That's been in some Buried Alive matches. Yeah, it's terrible. And we've got this big Stevie Cool custom figure, which is kind of big Stevie Cool, but like, again, just absolutely pitted. Um, definitely needs a clean before we list that up. And finally, well, actually not finally, we have this Bushwhacker. Not the best time to get this in, because obviously they've just been remade. I don't even want to know what that is. Dear with me. Yeah, don't even want to know. And then finally, uh, a little add-on bit that uh, we got from the same guy, just completely random, seemed like it was cheap. I got this massive slash Guns N' Roses figure as well. Uh, uh, but this is absolutely pitted in, I, you know, it makes me realize that like, whatever this stuff is, it like, it must be dust, right? But why is it brown? Like, how, is it like, is it like dust from Smoky Home or something? I don't know. But either way, he's absolutely covered. So we're going to have to give him a really good going over as well. But one thing I want to start with, because it really is a case of you can or you can't, is I want to try and get this marker pen off the ring cart here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to come off, but uh, we'll give it a go anyway. I tried to give it a once over with the uh, eraser. I think it came off a little bit, to be fair, but... Kind of hoping it's like dry erase instead of uh, like Sharpie, but I'm pretty sure it is Sharpie. And I'm also pretty sure that's not coming up. So yeah, we got a quick answer to that one. It's nice and easy. We'll just have to list it as it is. Can't be helped. Next, let's do, uh, let's do, uh, I kind of want to do that bushwhacker last with the amount of crap on him. That could actually be actual crap. So all the other figures aren't going through that. So we'll start with this John Cena because there really isn't much on it. You can just see that stuff on around his neck. We'll just quickly get that off. It's not even worth cleaning a John Cena. I must say this on these fig bath videos a lot, uh, but it's they're so valueless. They're not even worth cleaning. But at the same time, you know, you you kind of have to if it's if it's a bit dirty. Oh, look at that! We've got like a, a nice little built-in black patch there in the back of his knee. I don't know what that is. It kind of reminds me of when Max Morpho covered all of his Pokemon figures with black slime. Well, it's a good thing we had a look at these legs. A bit more visually satisfying than I might have imagined, you know. 
That was cool. Uh, inside of that one. It does go right around the joint as well by the looks of it. What has this kid been up to? Buried alive brackets black slime match. Anything on there? Nah. That will probably do him. <clears throat> Must apologise before we go any further if there's any sniffing or anything like that, like any heavy breathing or anything like that. During this video, I've still got a bit of a stuffy nose from the cold uh, I had. We're going to do this Undertaker next. So we're going to get that bit of filth there. Just flick that straight off, that bit of cobweb. Bit of cobweb around the hair as well. And then we're going to get that mucky face seen too as well. And we'll do the neck. Again, hardly even worth cleaning, but like... Damn well isn't leaving me without having a bit of a, you know, in the state it's currently in, like, dearie me. You can see his arms are a little bit muddy as well, actually. I mean, this might very well have actually been in a very large match, so, you know, that's entirely possible. It, would, it, would, it, it makes more sense on Undertaker figures than any other... But uh, yet it seems to occur very commonly on just about everyone. Now this wasn't from the smoky bundle, so I don't think it really needs a sock. Um. I think I'll more or less do it, to be honest. Make sure there's nothing, yeah, there's kind of some stuff on the underside of the hair. That's uh, really finicky detail, but, you know, it's still pretty minging. Okay, uh, we're going to go with, uh, let's do the cane next. Uh, I don't know how much of this we're actually going to be able to get off, because most of it is marks. Again, like... <sighs> I don't know how many of these canes that I get come in in this kind of condition with just marks and garbage all over them. I don't think any of this is going to come up um, from soaking or anything like that. I think this is all marks, to be fair. And in, and in saying marks, I think it's all stained, to be fair. Like, I don't think that's coming up. You know, I just got rid of, like, all my broken figures and stuff, and now I've started getting... Things that are like irreparably stained or irreparably like or broken and uh, again and it's like ugh guys got rid of you for like five minutes. Let's do the Shawn Michaels. I should wear gloves for this really. Uh, okay, we're going to start with that head. Look at that. Look at how that just came straight up. And now that nice filthy torso. I'm going to start with the abs and work my way up. Do his boobs. So that bit there is actually a mark. I, I was I was thinking that was dirt, but yeah. Uh, we'll do the right arm. This actually isn't a bad figure at all. Uh, I expect to hopefully get at least a five for it, since there's a little bit of a market for classic superstars. Although in saying that. I have a few Sean's, including this one, but fully like kitted, that just can't seem to sell. So I don't know. Whoa! Look at that. That is not a tattoo. That is filth. Let's try and get that in frame. Nice. It's stuff like that, which is why I film these fit baths. Visually satisfying stuff. And for some reason, they do really good views. I guess people like it. Like, the visually satisfying cleaning and whatnot. So, that's fine, because... I mean, it delays the video a little bit, because I feel like I need to do it when everybody is out. But, uh, you know, it... 
it's fine if it gets a lot of views. And if it's really holding up the listing process, like if I don't have anything else to sell or anything, but we didn't do this out, did we? Then uh, obviously I'll just crack on with it anyway, but... You know, these guys, despite having some good value figures here, these guys have uh, more or less gotten away with it. Like, I've had plenty of stuff to, like, list and whatnot recently, so... Yeah, cool. I think that's more or less done. We'll just have a, a bit of a eraser over that black mark and, uh, yeah, carry on with that. We've got have a quick... Oh, yep, we do have a little caked-in bit there under the hair. Always important to check. There's a little bit under his neck there, too. Beautiful. I am going to put that in for a soap just for a bit, just, you know, so the hot water and soap and whatnot can just get in between all the nooks and crannies. I am going to go for Big Stevie Cool next, I think. So, the cloth goods, uh, there's not a whole bunch we can do about them. We're literally just going to chuck that in for to soak uh, afterwards. So, we're going to, I'm going to start with that little bit of torso there. Get that up nice and clean. Good start. Uh, there's not really much on the head. The enormous TNA bulbous head. But, uh, I mean, there was definitely a bit of cobweb or something on that ponytail there. Bit of dirt in his neck there. I mean, I really should take these these, these claws off. Um, yeah, screw it. I'll do that in a sec. Oh, I've just realised his, his finger's been chewed. Like, who's chewed this? This is clearly an adult collector has made this. Like, made a custom Stevie Richards. Like, who's been chewing it? Oh, well. Damn, it's on his pinky as well. And it's on his other hand, for that matter. Oh, dear. I don't know. It's an easy fix. We find a figure that's doomed for the bin and uh, just swap the hands over, I suppose. Still... It just it fills me with questions. Uh, right, arm next. Let's do that. Do 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 do. Underside's actually pretty good. I mean, I look around this figure and look like the shin is all scuffed and this knee pad's ripped and stuff as well. And I just think, what the hell happened to this thing? Like. Did this guy just make it from like scrap parts or something? Like everything that's broken, I'm gonna turn it into a Stephen Richards. Uh, I don't think there's really. I'm gonna do knee pads. Everything looks clean enough uh, under the 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 claws, etc. But I am gonna. You know, there's not much you can do about cleaning those, but I'm just going to chuck him in for a soak afterwards. And I think this is him more or less done, you know. Uh, in you go. Ooh. And we're going to do... Definitely called Slash Slash earlier, didn't I? I didn't call him Sting. And we're going to do Carry Sane next. So, let's start with that head. Yeah. Cool. Right, Minnie. Uh, let's just, let's give the coat a big brushing up, like, down the, wow, that comes straight up, that, that's clean right up, I, I am expecting some staining to the coat, but that is actually just coming right up, like, look at that, that's beautiful, there's something wrong with this as well, I think, I think there's, like, a, a knee pad ripped us up, look at that, there's a cobweb inside there, Oh, dear me. So, yeah, we're definitely going to give this a soak to try and get rid of uh, any any staining. In fairness, this is coming up really well. Uh, although there is a lot of filth to it. The uh, detachable arm, the detachable sleeve... Oh yeah, that's what it is. It's the uh, the cuff of the detachable sleeves all like again, like all ripped up, all chewed. Maybe this guy had like anxiety and he chewed his figures instead of him, 
his fingers. Maybe, maybe he misread the memo about like chewing your fingers with anxiety. He thought it was figures. I mean, I know that this would be easier if I took the jacket off. Uh, yeah, I am going to do that. Oh, she stinks, man. The smoke smells terrible. I hate getting this detachable elbow off. I have one of these myself and it's so annoying. Right, just going to put that straight into soak. Um, I'm going to put the... Uh, what do you call it? The... Um, Oh, even that's broken. And that's got a bit snapped off it. Well, it kind of works anyway. What the hell is it called? <laughs> I can't think of the term. I really love this Kyrie Sane figure. It's a real shame to see it in this condition. Uh, it's, it's really nice. The pirate gear is really cool, but uh, the white attire and everything is really cool too. It's just really cool to see. Actually, does mine have this? I don't know if it does. That might be something it's missing. I might steal that. Well, I might already have it. I think the boots are stained. I don't think there's any getting away from that. We're very much only going to be able to make what we can make back off this Kyrie Sane. Like, it's... There are irreparable things. There's, you know, that part of the wheel is missing. There's uh, definitely going to be some staining to the boot. The cuffs, like, ripped... Uh, definitely be a bit of staining to this jacket. But, you know, she's a valuable figure, so hopefully we can still get, like... I think you can get, like, 20 for these, so I, it, hopefully we can still get, like, 10. Uh, maybe even 15, we'll see. And again, just going to put that into soak. Give Brian Kendrick a quick once-over. It's really good to, to soak the figures that stink, but uh, yeah, it never just does the job on its own. I have a whole video about it, that'll probably be in the end screen. Um, but uh, I'll probably have to do them. <sighs> ah, the stink, man. So what I'm going to do is get everyone out. Do the bushwhacker so they don't have to, like, endure that. Refresh the water and, and clean the sink, because let's look at the dirt. Look at the dirt around the sink now. <laughs> Refresh the sink and just put these back in for a soak off cam. So, yeah, we're going to do that. So, bushwhacker, whichever. Let's tackle that. Looks like you've had a really bad accident. Uh, careful with this because I don't want it spraying all over the place. It's come right up. I feel like I've uh, handled the top half of this figure so much that uh, any dirt that was on that is probably gone now, but yeah, I can't really see much. It's actually in really good nick now, it's cleaned up, like the, the joints are really, look at that, that's a really good ab joint. The joints and everything are really good on this thing. I don't know, I mean... You, the Bushwhackers might have just had a new remake, but they aren't exactly cheap, you know, they're still full retail and on the Builder Figure Wave, that's like 28. Although I'm selling them a bit cheaper if you want to send me a DM. But anyway, uh, you know, it's still for a Lucy figure, you know, you can still imagine you get like 15 for someone that just wants it. Or, you know, uh, like deathmatch people, customs or something, you know, kind of ideal body for that. I'm going to put Slash in. Uh, and then put out, well actually yeah, let's just, let's crack up to Slash first and then, then I'll redo the water, we'll call the video to an end. So, it's going to be hard to fit in because he is huge and I've never cleaned anything with this kind of paint before, I don't really know what you call this but 
Yeah, I am slightly concerned that it might be damageable. So I'm just going to go really, really careful on this. Yeah, it looks like it's it's fine. It's coming up all right. Gonna take you down to the paradise sinky Where the water's green and the slash is stinky Oh, won't you please take me home He's got a few marks on the shirt there They're not gonna come up uh, Let's go around the hair So many like little nooks and crannies on it as well He's got a cobweb too I have no idea what this figure is going to be worth, by the way, guys. I bought this because, like I say, the guy who was selling the Brian Kendrick bundle, etc., had it listed, and it was going to sell no bids for, like, £6. I thought, yeah, it's got to be worth more than that, surely. And since I was ordering from him anyway... Well, it wasn't even £6. I think he literally, like, combined postage in such a, a way, an accurate way, that this was, like, £5 postage... And uh, basically what he did was he charged me six pound postage all in all. So this was like a pound. Which is pretty cool. There we go. There's his head. Again, it's kind of awkward to try and get in there. His head doesn't really move a whole bunch. Um, we're going to work our way down the jacket a bit now, I think. His hands a bit. You can see the muck pooling up on there. I love how he's picking thing. I love how he has a little tiny pick in his hand, but I love how his picking hand looks like, I don't know, like skeletal, zombie-like. That's mostly staining, mostly marks and stuff actually on the, on the hands. There's not much I can do about that. I think I've got the dirt up and you can see the paint's coming away at the knuckles as well, so I don't really want to overdo that. I do want to have a go at this guitar though before I get it any more wet. So, oh, look at that. That's come up nice. And the other hand. gonna do him in terms of the guitar is that is that just trapped under his arm or nope yeah it is detachable good <laughs> right yeah we'll just leave that in there to soak for a little bit I think um, get it out the way uh, we will start on this side of his jacket and then Done that side a bit already, but we'll just work our way around the back. The overlapping shirt sticking out there. Try and get in there a little bit there. And uh, do these incredibly long legs. Dirt there. Just trying not to knock the chains off his pants or anything. Don't want to do that. Get the belt a little going over. And the flag hanging out of his pants. It's kind of such a style where it's kind of hard to tell if it's dirty or not, to be honest. Again, yeah, we don't really want to overdo it. Uh, let's do his converse. Let's 
Yeah, again, I think it looked mucky. Actually, that one had a fair bit of muck on it, but I think it looked mucky, but mostly they just marked. And uh, I think that's him done. That's everything. Down the side there, yeah. Again, I'm going to put him into soak, but after I've washed this water off, because he's literally dripping like black liquid. <laughs> so, that's everything for this... Uh, this fig bath. If you enjoyed it and if you'd like to see more, I have many more and a lot of watch hours in them as well. Some of them are very long and I really appreciate you checking those out. So they'll be in, do I have a fig bath playlist? I can't remember. If they're not in a fig bath playlist, then there will be recommended videos in the end screen anyway. And if you enjoyed this, please do like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you thought. I really do appreciate you guys joining me. So thank you all for watching and goodbye. I just want to see if when I rinse this slash off, if you could see the oh you could, you could see the black water dripping off in there. Nah, it's not quite not quite that thick. Yeah. Might have been a bit optimistic. I guess I can just swap a, a new hand onto that from I guess Willow was also concerned about who's been chewing this figure. And she still is apparently.